Okay, guys, next match I have in store for you is going to be between um, Corsair's team on top, which is known as Shift Steppers, and on bottom we got Fallen Stars team, which is known as Dark Parade. So, for Corsair, we got uh, Peaky Mump, the Summoner, or Peck, uh, Peck Mump, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, sorry, Thunderbolt the Thief, Blink the Dancer, and Cheer and Clap the Bard. Um, uh, we have a bit of a hodgepodge of offense here, for the most part. Uh, we got the summoner here, plays support, but can damage with Bahamut. And can get those spells off relatively quickly, thanks to short charge. Also carries a carbuncle for MP healing. Then she carries cure to cure 3, raise, raise to Asuna. Not too shabby. Pilgrimage, obviously, boosts the damage done with Bahamut. Who is 16 MA. Uh, she has a pretty good number to start with, although horribly squishy because of the 241 HP. Yeah, that's not very high at all. Uh, the Thief here, Undead, also quite squishy. He has um, it's Quickening Steel Heart and all the level jumps, pretty much. Quick Pull Arm and the Javelin. Obviously, the Thief can do um, really quick jump damage. He's likely to get those jumps off relatively quick. So, plus, plus with him being undead, 15 speed, he'll come back really, really fast. Um, Dragon Spirit, though, I think is an odd call, because obviously re raise and undead do not go well together. I'm guessing you're trying to anticipate a steel accessory, and that can trigger Dragon Spirit, I suppose. But, other than that, um, you could have easily given him something else. Or are we just concerned with uh, JP costs and whatnot? Um, Dancer here. Well, actually, what you really could have done with this thief, actually, now that I go back to him for a second, you could have given him Warpath. Then he could have um, be jumping for even more damage. Just thought I'd throw it out there. Uh, martial Arts Dancer here. With uh, 15 PA Martial Arts, that's pretty good. Has Slow Dance and then Last Dance. Um, it's best to really focus a dance... For a dance, one particular dance. Like, if you're gonna use last dance and have her use last dance, if you're gonna have her use slow dance, have her use slow dance. Don't make the AI interrupt itself with a different dance. You know, because then you're not gonna really follow through very well. Um, you're not, you're not gonna be able to follow through very well with um, the plan you have in mind. Uh, plus, if you got rid of one of the dances anyway, you could have um, added in. Maybe uh, Wave Fist, actually. Maybe. Um, if the JP cost isn't really that high. But that's what I would have done personally. Just focus on one of the dances and then have her be decked out in PA gear. And finally, the Bard with um, Cheer Song and Angel Song. Uh, Cheery Murasame Bison Boat. Bit of an odd call with Unyielding, knowing that. Um, his draws would do less damage, but if you want to emphasize tanking, I can understand why. Um, but unyielding also means your Murasami won't heal for as much. Just again, just thought I'd uh, throw it out there. Um, it's not a bad choice by any means, but it's not a great choice either. We'll see how it works out though. Uh, for Fallen Stars, uh, we got here, Killer, Cl Killer Clown, the Monk. Uh, Mar Marionetta, the Scholar, Parish, the Archer, and Queen of Hearts, the Wizard. We'll go to this Monk for a second. Uh, Quickening Steel Heart Monk, common but effective. Uh, Earth Slash, um, you gave this guy Earth Slash, which is a good move and all, but wouldn't you rather given him uh, Earth Clothes to boost uh, the damage with Earth Slash? And then um, giving him like maybe the bracer or something like that to boost the damage even more with Earth Slash, or maybe Diamond Armlet to prevent oil proc as well as slow. And you get an extra point in PA and MA with and uh, add more effectiveness to Steel Heart. Um, but I can understand why Bare Fisted though. You kind of want to um, go for a regular punch if that if that's gonna help you out. Secret Fist is a good move. Well, can be good, can be bad. Depending on what, uh, depending on what circumstances, of course. 
Uh, the Scholar here, a Magic Defensive Scholar. Pilgrimage Damage Split. So, sh she's going for a bit of a balanced setup, I guess. And by balanced, I mean, like, you can take the Magic Damage very well, and you can still dish it out thanks to Pilgrimage. Uh, Thunder Flare, Quake. Oh, if you're doing this just for the Thunder Absorb, then I can understand. Okay, I see now. You're doing for the Thunder Absorbing, um... Tactic. Okay. Okay. That make that makes enough sense. Alright. Um... Oh, sorry. I went back to the bar for a second. Yeah, um... Thunder Flare, Quake, and then... Cure 3 Raise 2 Asuna. As well as Wall. Uh, hang on one second. Alright guys, sorry about that. I had to um, answer a question very quick. Um, but yeah, this is a bench defensive scholar. Pretty much. With some elemental boosting moves. Sorry, I'm just... Um, there we go. Okay, moving, moving along. Uh, Archer here with Execute Cover Fire. Overwhelm is an interesting choice, because obviously the guy can do more damage with his high PA. Um, I'm not so sure about giving this guy talk skill. 4MA isn't exactly high, and honestly for this guy, he would have been better off maybe giving him Nijutsu. And then maybe Hokotan, in case anyone uh, does decide to, um, you know, because Hokotan doesn't, doesn't miss... Or, um, you could also give him Sweet Taunt to heal himself with Nijitsu. That would have been a cool idea to do. Uh, other than that, though, Speed Save is an okay choice. Jump Plus 2 is alright. This guy can definitely get some, uh, height going. And finally, the Wizard. Ice 2, Bolt 2, Water 2, Haste 2, Comet, Sinkhole, Balance. Uh, problem with this particular setup, I feel, is that... Well, I mean, Balance on the one hand can bypass any Elemental Absorbent, so that's fine. But when the AI is in Critical, it will try to heal itself best it can. And while Genji Gauntlet Counter Magic is a great combo, if you're trying to heal yourself, it can also potentially backfire on you too. So, it's a double-edged sword, basically, with this wizard. Okay, with that said, uh, RNG tells us we're going to map 34, if I can find it. There we go. Seller of Sand Mouse. Good luck to the both of you. Quickening spam. There's another thief, the undead thief, at uh, 16 speed, while the monk is at 10. Alright, so haste 2 coming up from the wizard. The bard's gonna go for maybe cheer song. See, instant jump, but damage split. Quick haste 2. Quick MA save, alright. And charm lands. And down goes the thief already. Sigma magic to get rid of the charm, so. So chorus are um, not exactly in a great position right now. Let's see, blink will continue to charge forward. Bees and boat. Nice bees and boat. Bees and boat definitely save the day for chorus right now. There is a chakra though to to replenish the MP. And some magic coming up. What can the wizard do? Uh. Hard hit and black magic. Probably like a water two. Good damage from Bahamut. No KOs, but good damage. Follow up with an Earth Slash. Bees and Boat again. Denying the wizard that spell. But the archer can finish the job. PA save under the dancer, and she goes down. Uh, 
HP restore after Cheery, and the Thief gets right back up. <clears throat> charm. Lands. Best compact charm, actually. The bar does have AoE. If he can just get in if he can just get in range. And he does. Speed save. The wizard's still charmed. And oh no HP restore this time. Can the bard make a comeback here? That's the question right now. Charm just wore off. Secret Fist missed this. So of course or has another opportunity. To wreak havoc. Wizard can't do anything. She's out of MP. Thief gets right back up. Gets all his health back. Now the guy's at 17 speed. So now we brought this to a two-on-two -two situation here. Oh, Wizard almost got her MP back. Charm lands again. Cherry block. That might be what Corsair wants here. That way the monkey wastes his turn going for sleeping magic as opposed to attacking. Jump. Poke. Cheery. And it looks like that, um... Oh, it's one-on-one -on -one now. Monk versus Bard. Bard's out of range still. Earth Slash not for a whole lot. Church and Unyielding. Monk can just go ahead and grab the crystal himself if he wanted to. Thief gets right back up. And... Kale's the monk. Alright, so... Corsair takes round one. I'll see you in round two. Alright, round two is about to begin right now as we are now at map 113 Horror. So definitely in the last match, it was awfully close, but... It was thanks to Corsair's uh, thief that gave her the victory. So we'll see how this turns out between these two teams. Now the map being a little bit smaller. Earth Slash, a little bit MP Restore action, and damage split. Now the Wizard will get in range and lift and do some very heavy damage. HP restore, speed save, counter magic. Yeah, that summoner got absolutely nuked. Wizard drops. And both the dancer and the bar are now in critical. This is just mayhem from the word from the get-go here. But now with this being three on two, I make that two on two. Now three on two again. This time in Fallen Star's favor. Raise two does connect. Punch, there's a PA save. Combo the archer's arrow shot. Raise two. Connect him to the wizard. The thief gets right back up. And quickens himself and runs the fuck away. Thunder Flare for a, hopefully some healing. And there's a Beezen Boat. Oh, but Chakra. Raise two. Archer runs away as well. Thief gets right in there. Jump. Ice who drops the summoner. Thief jumped out of the way of that uh, lore that time. Charm misses and he runs away here. It looks like that Fallen Star might be able to tie this one up actually. Maybe. Dance with a PA save and a strong chakra heal. 
Let's see, another bees and boat. That barge has been keeping uh, the casters very busy. It may save. It might be good that the thief went down. Uh, that way, if he does get right back up, he'll have higher HP. Maybe. Damage split. Uh oh. Not good. Jerry. There's a speed save. Bard is almost dead here. It is four on one. And it looks like we might be able to go to the round three. Maybe. Yeah, with this being three on one, the thief not the most damaging you out there. You can drop the wizard at least. Now it's two on one. And cover fire finally does the job. So, we are going to a tiebreaker. Alright, last match between the two teams is now going to be at map 115, Banish Fort. So, Fallen Stars was able to take round two after the Counter Magic Bahamut. And this would turn the tides uh, for her. They jump, instant jump, haste two. Goes off. T flare. And last hand was now about to go off. Misses everyone, unfortunately. Chair Song gets only the bard. Summoner will go in there, go for some AoE, maybe dump it Bahamut. Alright. Earth Slash drops the Undead Thief and hits the Archer too. That's actually. Ooh, crit shot as retaliation. Quake was intended, I think, for the summoner, but she's already dead. So I don't think I don't think it would really matter. Parish will go for a cover fire. PA save. Shirsan goes off onto the dancer. And quickening onto the monk. Cheery. Okay, so it's pretty much uh, four on one, and I think that Fallen Stars is definitely going to be getting this. Arch doesn't do anything for some reason. Oh, because the Bard's bar going to die anyways. Okay, fair enough. So, yeah, that'll be it. Fallen Stars win. GG.